In this particular module, Employee Engagement Best Practices, we are going to talk about different types of factors or different type of important initiative or drivers which actually important to manage the employee engagement, employee relations in an organization. Now this module is definitely one of the most important or I would say the basis by which you will understand the employee engagement and employee relations in an organization. So this would be an attempt where we will try to understand what are the different drivers of employee engagement, what are the different things that we should consider whenever we are trying to take an initiative related to employee engagement, what we should consider as an employee engagement, how to plan it, how to implement it and how to make use of it. Definitely this particular course employee relations and employee engagement masterclass we would not like to understand about the only the concept of employee engagement but also we would like to understand about different types of trends and different types of you know best practices or different concepts are right now going on in the market uh, using different surveys different white papers different research and other journals so we would understand how the market is thinking how industry is moving how everyone is conducting a perfect employee engagement activity not only that we will also understand or try to understand couple of initiatives or couple of activities related to employee relations and employee engagement which would be helpful for the organization to align its culture with the engagement activity align its training and development activity with its employee relation and employee engagement activity aligning the team building with the employee relations and employee engagement activity and keeping your workforce more engaged more productive and more connected with the business goal of the organization but right to that in this particular lecture we would like to understand about what exactly is employee engagement and what are the different factors or drivers we must consider whenever we are talking about employee engagement. Now obviously uh, we will uh, primarily understand in this particular lecture that what is the definition of employee engagement, what are the different drivers. Obviously we have a completely separate lecture on drivers of employee engagement where we will understand in detail about the drivers but here we will try to understand it in brief and also we will try to understand who is holding or responsible for managing the entire activity of employee engagement and finally we will also attempt some basic pillars try to understand some basic pillars related to employee engagement. Now employee engagement is definitely not a recent phenomenon nowadays yes after the concept of modern workforce after the concept where you know workforce are the primary important factor in an organization where you know they would be more participating in management and would be responsible for different things uh, then the employee engagement actually becomes popular and we are more concentrating on employee engagement but actually it has started a long time back uh, researchers have found out in 1920 a succession management and behavioral thinkers have decided to drive deep into the subject and actually first thrown a light to this particular segment. Now employee engagement variously also known as sometime uh, employee ownership, sometime it's known as employee motivation, sometime it is known as employee involvement and commitment, loyalty etc. Right now all these points or all these things are actually a very integral part of employee relation and employee engagement. So therefore if we make an attempt uh, to kind of create or prepare a definition or define the employee engagement activity then we can very well say that productive members of an organization who are psychologically committed to a role in the organization which is which in which they use their talent. So therefore every every person is responsible to play a certain role by using their skill set in the organization. 
there is no doubt about it and that's why you get the money that's why you are working in the organization but whenever you are not only doing your job but also psychologically committed to the organization along with it then you can be considered as an engaged employee now also we can mention it's a kind of state of emotional and intellectual involvement that workers have in an organization so it's more a psychological state or emotional or intellectual involvement not only physical completion or accomplishment of your day to day task and responsibility so it is can be considered that in case of an engaged employee they will say so they will speak positively about organization to coworkers potential employees and customers they are your brand ambassador your employees are actually responsible for spreading the good words about the organization also they will stay so they will uh, be an intense part or to be a part of the organization and also they strive extra efforts and take on work that contribute to employee success so it's not only that they will contribute whatever is expected out of them what is their responsibility they will always also try to strive try to you know do something extra for the organization to 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 give a better performance and to be responsible for the success of the organization whenever the employees are doing that you can always consider they are fully engaged with the organization and highly motivated to do that therefore we must understand how exactly we can measure employee engagement because employee measure employee engagement measurement is not only will come from a measurement of performance it's something more than performance so obviously performance measurement can be one of the process by which you can measure the employee engagement but actually there are multiple factors which will add to that number 1 tenure in the organization number 2 display of emotional involvement number 3 doing in more than what is expected and number 4 displaying pride in the place they work so actually you know it's not only performance it's the overall behavior or overall involvement and overall you know connectivity with the organization uh, you know the employees are showing that's actually kind of driver or actually the key factor which we will consider whenever you are trying to measure employee engagement as an organization as a manager or as a hr professional now let us understand what are the drivers of engagement obviously there is a separate lecture on this but we will try to understand the drivers of employee engagement by the by the concept of motivation because obviously the primary reason people work in an organization is motivation and the reason they also want to contribute more that's also very well connected with motivation so therefore we would try to understand few concepts around motivation and management skills and then we will try to understand what are the drivers that actually people are you know people are pushing people has been pushed to be connected with the organization so elton mayo in 1932 has described a factor or has described a motivation theory which is known as hathorn effect where it's started originally to examine the physical and environmental influences of the workflow so workflows has a very strong you know effect on the workforce and that's actually uh, physical and environmental as well now abraham maslow you know in his very famous maslow hierarchy need has described about five sets of goals related to employment those are and uh, these of physical physiological need safety love or social connection esteem and self self actualization so all these five factors are actually the primary reason of motivation now douglas macgregor in 1957 has actually described a theory x and theory y where in theory x is saying that employees are all the workforce are generally very much you know lazy and they do not really want to work they are not motivated they need to supervise they need to be instructed and a structure of work has to be laid in front of them so they should follow that and 
दे शो लिटिल एम्बिशन विदाउट एन इंसेंटिव प्रोग्राम और एनी मैनेटरी प्रोग्राम सो दे विल ऑलवेज ट्राई टू अवॉइड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी एंड दैट्स वाई द रोल ऑफ द सुपरवाइजर और द मैनेजर प्लेज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल और ऑन द अदर हैंड इन थियोरी वाई इट्स कंप्लीटली डिफरेंट वेर यू नो द मैनेजमेंट अज्यूम्स एम्प्लॉयज मे बी एम्बिशियस सेल्फ मोटिवेटेड एंड एंशियस टू एक्सेप्ट गेट आर रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी सो दे ऑलवेज वॉन्ट टू टेक मोर रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी दे आर नॉट ओनली मोटिवेटेड बाई द मनी और बाई द इंसेंटिव बट बाई द नेचर ऑफ द जॉब बाई द रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी द काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स दे आर डूइंग एन एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दोज आर मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट रादर दैन ओनली मनी और इंसेंटिव देयर फोर इट्स नॉट ओनली दैट दैट यू नीड टू सुपरवाइज दैम बट ऑल्सो यू नीड टू प्रोवाइड दैम गुड क्वालिटी जॉब so they should be connected with the organization so there is a chance for greater productivity by giving employees the freedom of performing what are their best abilities so therefore the freedom ownership quality of the job would be responsible for their betterment of the performance now by that if we try to create a kind of model of engagement we will call, we can conceptualize four models here now let us assume those models as model a model b model c and model d in model a you know employee engagement can be seen as an outcome of four dimension those are basic needs management support teamwork and growth so basic needs can be your uh, clarity of the works materials to do the work management support is definitely encouragement caring and supervision teamwork is definitely you know co-workers commitment to quality or clarity of the organization purpose and growth is the opportunity to learn and tangible progress those are responsible for employee engagement in model b it can be seen as seven different dimensions which are number 1 understanding how work contributes to the company's overall success number 2 being personally motivated to help the company so obviously it's not only the motivation will come from the organization the motivation will come from the personal level as well and also being willing to put good deal of effort what is expected and yes a sense of personal accomplishment from the job so it's not only you know willing to put more effort but also a personal accomplishment also connected with the job recommend company to friends as a good company so they should also would be interested to work in the organization so you are feeling proud about the organization where you are working company inspiring want to give the best so the inspiration to give the best is also coming from the organization and also company values being aligned to the personal so the company value is not only aligned with the objective of the organization it's also aligned with the objective of the personal so it's a very well blend of organizational need and personal need so both of things uh, both of the things whenever is aligned or very well blended that point of time employee feel more connected and will try to thrive for the best and will try to be more productive to be more involved in the organizational goals and business growth now in the model c you know it's actually talking about as a measure of emotional and intellectual commitment that employee have to engage in this models the drivers of engagement are seen as compensation opportunities people procedure quality of life and work so therefore we can see it's a kind of emotional and intellectual commitment with the organization so it's not only talking about compensation it's also talking about the opportunities to grow it's also talking about the kind of people you are working it's also talking about the procedures or the kind of the, you know things being managed in an organization or the quality of life whenever you are working in the organization and definitely the quality of work all these things will play a major role for the engagement of an employee with the organization now in the last model you know it looks an engagement is translating into a great workplace so it's not only engagement it's talking about creating a great workplace whenever you are actually looking for a better engagement in the organization so those are five components number one is the credibility so related with communication competences integrity talking about respect so professional development appreciation collaboration and decision should be there fairness so equity in rewards impartiality and justice must be there pride in one's work 
a team output the organizational procedure the pride to work the pride to complete that must be there and the camaraderie so being oneself friendly workplace and sense of family and team must be there so actually workplace here is playing the primary role to be connected with the organization so it has in that case for these four models we can very well comment that it's not only you know your salary or your compensation or your roles and responsibility it's more to do how are you being treated in the organization how you know the organization is aligning your personal goal with the organization goal how much your personal you know learning and other expectation has been fulfilled how much you are feeling proud to be associated with the organization how much fairness and credibility is being given all these factors would be contributing towards employee engagement obviously the around 20 models or 20 engagement activities we have mentioned in this particular course at the end of this at the end of this course those are actually designed to address all these issues related to your cultural alignment related to your fairness being a proud or you know respected teamwork all these things or all these components would be covered in those different types of activities mentioned in that particular section where we will talk about not to how to manage it but also will provide you the templates and the basic framework to conduct such activities or to take such initiatives so now we can understand who really holds the key so the organization would like employees to be engaged managers see care and concern for the employees and also in the way of task accomplishment and something to which to is to be paid and the employer employer engagement somehow does not seem to be a matter to be considered in most of the cases so management hr and the managers are very much important pillars or the person who would be taking care of the primary role to or for creating a good employee engagement environment and good initiative related to employee engagement because most of the cases it's not only activity it's a continuous effort it's your overall communication how are you speaking with people how are you communicating how are you portraying your organization all these things also will play a very important role in the employee engagement initiative now we see at the end of the session if we talk about the basic pillars we can say it's security managing the lows as well as the highs start early finding the balance between hrm and hrd and need for further thought leadership all these things would be connected so right now we can say employee engagement and employee relations it's not only an activity not only an initiative it's a one of the leadership role one of the leadership aspect for the organization as well which has to be played by the senior leaders by the managers and by the hr professionals so this is a new kind of leadership which is responsible for the success of the organization if you really want to be productive if you really want to create a high performance culture if you really want to create a high innovative culture if you really want to create a high teamwork related culture in the organization you must have a proper engagement activity and initiative in the organization if the employees are engaged your high performance high team building and high branding activity everything will be happening very smoothly and the hr managers and the senior leaders plays an important role in this thought leadership of employee relations and employee engagement so we'll come back with some more lectures in this particular section or then this particular module where we will try to understand different drivers engagement factors sustainable model surveys all these things related to employee engagement thank you for listening hi all today in this module of employee engagement best practices we are going to learn about the drivers of employee engagement now in this course 
leadership in employee relations and employee engagement, we would like to understand more about the leadership and management skills required to manage the employee relations and employee engagement activity in an organization. As well as, we also need to understand how your employee engagement and relations activity actually affects the overall performance, the overall cultural alignment of an organization. It's a very important part of any organization, but on the other hand, it's really been neglected and most of the cases, it's not really very much structured. Employee engagement is not only your monthly, annual or quarterly activity, which includes some HR events or sports events or something similar to that. It actually much more larger than that. It's the connection of your employees with the organization which directly connected with the performance and also how an organization creating the culture of performance, engagement and definitely showing connectivity with employees. Now to understand that we must know what are the drivers of employee engagement. There are multiple aspects to that. We would like to understand about all of that along with some studies. Based on that, we have actually created this entire lecture. Now, whenever we are talking about employee engagement, we at first would like to start, you know, there are extensive research that has been conducted to determine the factor that actually influence employee engagement levels. Now the research has indicated that there are primarily two drivers. One is the organizational driver, another one is the managerial driver. Now in the today's digital age, particularly when you know a lot of people are working remotely because of the functionality of the organization, because of the situation, because of something else, whatever it is, less person-to-person -person interactions are there and increasing the on-demand technology to manage that, which includes chats, text to social media updates, new feeds, which is actually an integral part of employee engagement. So we are emphasizing less on one-to-one -one interaction and we are actually emphasizing more on the technology which is the driving factor of employee engagement in most of the organization. Now whenever we are talking about organizational drivers, we must understand organization from the top plays an important role to drive the employee engagement and employee management activity. Now quantum workplace has conducted a research who are responsible actually uh, behind the idea of best place to work more than 47 metro areas has identified six drivers of employee engagement that have greatest impact. What are they? Number one, the leaders or the, the most important key person of an organization must be committed to making it a great place to work. You must not only emphasize to your productivity, clients and your services. Your employees are one of your most important assets and you must be committed to make it a great place to work to make them engage with the organization. Another one important point is there should be a trust in the leaders of the organization to set the right course. So whenever we are creating a kind of organizational structure, the leaders must be trusted by the employees. The leaders must be, must have, the leaders must create a sense of trust on them whenever the organization, the organization and the employees are looking on them. The belief should be there in the employees. The organization would be successful in the future. 
because if the organization has not been successful obviously the employees will not gain their success and most important whatever is their you know achievement orientation or they are looking from the organization it can be monetary it can be career development it can be something related to their branding as well also they must understand the employees must understand how do they fit in the organization the employee have certain career goals the employee have certain monetary demands uh, the employee have certain personal needs as well and they must understand how their need and their demand or their expectation is fitting with the organizational landscape in the the vision of the organization is this fitting with their expectation as well or not yes there would be certain compromise negotiation but on the other hand at a larger extent the fitment must be there the leaders of the organization must value people as the most important asset if you do not value your people the people will not value you as a leader or also they will not have trust on the organization so they must feel valued and the organization must make investment to make employees more successful it's extremely important because if you are investing on your people they would be responsible for the growth of your business if you are not investing on them ultimately they will leave the organization and it would be a complete loss for the organization therefore it's extremely important rather than investing your money only on marketing customer and products you must invest a large portion of that money in the success or growth of the people and they would be responsible for your business growth if you are not doing that then ultimately you would be redundant in the market and the organization also will not be able to grow and cannot retain their talents now whenever we are talking about the next part of employee engagement that's management drivers we must understand employee engagement increase dramatically whenever the daily experience of employees include positive relationship with the direct supervisors or managers because behavior of an employee direct supervisor have a very large correlation with the engagement the gallup q12 or uh, 12 core element that they have strongly linked to key business outcomes are you know that is related to what the employee gets so they should have a clear expectation resources what the employee gives what employee and individual contribution are whether the employee fits in the organization and whether the employee has the opportunity to grow whether they have feedback about work and opportunities to learn those can be considered as a very important management driver so therefore if we divide it into four important points they would be number 1 the employee must enjoy a very good relationship with the supervisor because if the relationship is not correct if the relationship is not very much friendly or you know they cannot trust each other then definitely that will affect the engagement of an employee with the organization the employee must have the necessary equipment to do the job well if they do not have the equipment to do the job well it's very difficult for them to perform say for example in a software company if you need uh, for to manage a testing activity you need an automated a tool like qtp or you need uh, the load runner uh, kind of you know load runner kind of testing environment obviously you must have that uh, license of the software if you do not have then it's extremely difficult for the employees to perform a uh, plus in a manufacturing unit if you really want to achieve a certain manufacturing target uh, on a daily basis the proper equipment or the automated equipment must be present without the presence of that it's impossible for the employees to perform properly and that will create frustration the employee have must have the necessary authority to accomplish their job well because to do certain things you must have the necessary authority say for example if an employee has been given a target of selling 10 products per month obviously they must 
have the authority to take certain decisions of giving certain amount of discount they also must have the authority to add certain amount of features to the product or additional benefits with the product because if you do not give the authority to that salesperson then obviously they will not be able to achieve their targets and they must have that much of ownership or authority to conduct their job otherwise it would be impossible for them to perform properly and also the employees must have freedom to make work decisions so work decision can be an example if you have nine hours of working time that must be flexible you should not be micromanaging them on a daily daily basis on a hourly basis so say for example if you have an eight hours work on nine hours work and i and a weekly 40 hours work obviously that should be flexible you more concentrate on the amount of work or service has been delivered by the employee rather than concentrating on what are they doing on the daily basis on an hourly basis because the more important is getting the service not really how they are utilizing the hours now the hr and the management the management means the senior management plays a very important and vital role in this entire activity because they influence many factors which can be workplace culture organizational communication and managerial trust style to trust and respect leadership company reputation and individually hr professionals and managers play important role in ensuring the success of the organizational employee engagement activity because on ground the leadership team doesn't work on ground the managers actually manage the day-to-day -day show the hr responsible to ensure whether the managers are following all the policies procedures as per the organization whether the proper organizational cultural statement has been maintained or not whether the employees are not being too much influenced or exploited by the managers and most important the overall organizational commitment goals mission and vision has been maintained so hr is kind of custodian of the entire organizational development and different policies and procedure and managers are responsible to give the delivery and to implement the same so therefore if we talk about the role of hr to foster a culture management hr should lead the way in design measurement and evaluation of proactive policies and procedures that help to attract and also retain the talent with the skills and competency necessary for the organization so they are not only aligning the culture of the organization they also create a kind of good workplace culture a good workplace environment aligning the policy and procedure statement of the organization and retaining the talents now whenever we are talking about the role of the manager the middle manager plays a very key role in employee engagement because they create a respectful and trusting relationship with their direct reports communicate the company rules procedures and expectation to the employees that leaders or the most senior people of the organization will not daily basis come to the employees they may have uh, you know certain uh, newsletters email communication open houses but on a day-to-day -day basis the communication must happen through the managers they are responsible or they kind of act like a bridge or connect between the direct reportees and the management of the organization study shows that the people actually leave managers they don't leave the organization they are maybe very much happy with the organization in every aspect in terms of the pay package the responsibilities but if you do not have a very good relationship with the manager if the manager is not able to communicate the organization goal correctly if the manager is not able to give the correct opportunity to the employee the engagement will not be there and that actually will lead to the attrition therefore the middle manager need to be empowered it's very important they also needs to be empowered by being given larger responsibility because on ground they are working they must be trained 
to expand their roles and more involved in strategic decisions. In most of the cases, what happens? Middle manager play like a you know person who is only doing different tasks, not really taking any organizational decisions. So, if an organizational executive and HR professional want to hold managers accountable for the engagement level, they must concentrate on this following points. Number one. They make sure that managers and employees have the tools to do the job correctly. Number two, they must periodically assign managers larger and more exciting roles. Because if the managers do not get a more exciting and larger role, they will not be very much happy, motivated to do their job. Number three, the managers must have the appropriate authority. If the appropriate authority is not there, they are not empowered. The employees will not trust them. The employees cannot depend on them. And most important, the, there must be an acceleration of the leadership development efforts. The managers must move from manager to a leadership role. If they do not play the leadership role, they always play like a manager, then obviously the overall connectivity with the organizational would be missing. And the managers must, can, it should be conveyed to them that they should convey the corporate mission, vision and help to transform the organization because corporate vision and vision is there but it's the responsibility of the manager to convey the message to everyone and working towards it and transform the organization otherwise it would be completely impossible for any organization to achieve a complete transformation from one level to another level now according to the 2017 Dale Carnegie study it has been observed that just 26% of leaders surveyed say that it's very important part of what they think about plan and do every day. Another 42% said that they work on it frequently and the rest only occasionally, rarely and never. So therefore, it's evident that a large portion of the managers in the industry in different organization is actually not really connected with employee engagement. They don't really think it's a part of their job. They think it's their KRA only to deliver whatever is there to be expected out of them as a manager to serve the client, to create, to deliver the services, to create a product, to maintain the productivity of the organization and managing the employee. Employee engagement is a responsibility of HR. It's a responsibility of the leadership. It's not the responsibility of a manager. But whenever I really want to be a manager and really want to grow my team, I really want a very good connection with my team. I really want a very much high performance driven culture in my team. Then the concentration must be on employee engagement. Now, we will try to understand what are the things can be done as a manager to drive that employee engagement. Number one, job challenge. So whenever you are giving more challenge to the employees, so you know, a high workload and different types of new assignments which actually increase or enhance the engagement because it creates potential for accomplishment of personal and professional growth. Number two, autonomy the freedom and independence or the decision making capability must be given to the employees whenever they are carrying out a very important role in a specific profile so obviously when they will get that they definitely will feel more connected with the organization because they have the ownership and they are accountable for something they cannot really run away from that yes the supervision would be there but on the other hand whenever you are giving accountability ownership to the deserving employee obviously they will feel more connected and more concerned about the organization variety different types of variety of job will actually improve the skill set of an individual not only that they would be you know very much essential to doing different types of jobs and very much well connected with the organization as a whole they are not only responsible for a small portion or a small module of the organization they are actually responsible for the overall organizational efficiency number four feedback providing employees with direct or clear information about the effectiveness of their performance is very important 
you know sometime there is always a kind of dilemma or kind of misconception about the outcome of the performance of an individual sometimes the individual thinks whatever they are delivering that's actually very much important for the organization but actually in reality the performance is absolutely no use for the organization not even for the client so the proper feedback must be given someone must may be happy but whenever you are connecting them with the overall efficiency of the organization with the expectation of the client the, with the with the market trends they will be feeling more connected with the organization and will try to work towards it now the next point or the fifth point is fit the existing of the compatibility between an individual and work environment allows the individuals to behave in a manner consistent with the organization because they must understand how they are fitting with the organizational objective how they are fitting with the business of the organization how they are fitting with the organizational growth aspect whenever you know the fitment is there the engagement would be more obviously the next point is the opportunities for development this makes works meaningful because they provide pathways to employ growth and fulfillment every individual has certain expectation professional expectation personal expectation career development plan and the opportunity of development must be given to that individual to reach to that and the pathways or at least the road should be given to them to achieve their goals and therefore they will feel more fulfilled and more you know happy whenever they are actually growing and leading towards that road so therefore it's very important every individual must get a proper opportunity for development and yes last not the least rewards and recognition whenever someone is really you know achieving something great or you really exhibiting a great performance and consistently you know doing something for the organization the indirect return on the person has to be there in form of reward and recognition it can be a monetary reward it can be a kind of trophy whatever it is recognition is very important you actually boosting the proud of the of the individual and they feel more connected and happy about the organization and automatically the engagement comes with that particular employee and overall it creates a very much performance driven culture because maybe everyone is not getting a reward on a daily basis some individuals are getting it but it actually creates a huge motivation for others to achieve that they will also work towards it by by observing the example of other colleagues so it actually creates a sense of you know more concentration on performance and achieving organizational goals so therefore as a hr or as a manager it's extremely important for us to understand about the different drivers of employee engagement working towards it and definitely achieving it to initiate and to activate the employee engagement for your team for your project and for the organization we'll come back with the next lesson a lecture for this particular section employee engagement best practices thank you for listening bye bye lecture in the leadership in employee relations and employee engagement course and the today's lecture is the best strategies for employee engagement now obviously before starting this particular lecture this particular session we must at first understand that engagement or employee relations is one of the most misunderstood and very neglected concept in any organization so most of the cases it's a kind of you know very routine behavior where the associates or the employees are not fully involved and most important the organization also gives and give too much importance or emphasize on this particular exercise but on the other hand employee relation or employee engagement is the one of the most important initiative or the most important function which can actually helps to connect the employees with the organization or the organization with the employee 
only monetary motivation or monetary satisfaction is not enough for any employees and also it will not helpful for the organization to be connected and to motivate their employees to get best out of them it's extremely important that the workplace culture the workplace environment should be suitable and should be very much enthusiastic for the employees it is something which money alone cannot buy it's something like similar to your you know the enth- the aesthetic of your home or the kind of way you are actually giving a sign of your culture sign of your of your test for your home the similarly a good employee engagement and employee relations practice in an organization in a workplace actually gives the sign of the culture the thought process of the workplace and therefore it's extremely important to concentrate on this particular initiative it cannot be done in a day it cannot be done in a month it's a kind of very long term effort that must be put by the organization but to all the managers and the hr professionals of the organization and then only you can get a proper result in employee engagement and yes though it's directly not connected with the leadership but whenever as a leader as a manager you are actually concentrating on lot on the employee relations and employee engagement initiative your leadership efficiency will increase the overall efficiency of the organization will increase therefore it's extremely important we must understand what are the best strategies what are the different strategies can be implemented for a proper employee engagement practice in an organization yes employee engagement is not only conducting monthly quarterly annual events it's a continuous effort continuous initiative within a set guideline and framework conducted by the hr professional and the managers of the organization so the strategies if we are talking about the number one strategy would be think bottom up not top down simple whenever you are creating or constructing a house obviously you will not start from the top floor you will start by uh, from creating the base of the home and then preparing or constructing the ground floor then the first floor then the second floor that's how step by step you will construct the house and also that also has a proper framework similarly whenever you are really want to concentrate uh, in the in the employee engagement and employee relations activity you must understand the approach should be bottom up not bottom down so one of the most important or one of the most popular employee engagement activity is conducting a survey but whenever you are conducting a survey if you are concentrating on the questionnaires or creating a questionnaires which is actually answering the queries or answering the action points which would be you know the primary lookout of the leadership team then it's extremely difficult to have a proper engagement and a proper response from the team because then you are only getting the answer only two or three matters or two or three topics which is actually the leadership team is looking for so the employee will not feel much engaged and they will not able to answer you know their proper problems their queries or their issues which they are facing on a day to day basis and therefore the overall engagement survey exercise would be a failure on the other hand if you do not do it or conduct the survey in this way if you are if you are giving careful consideration on the survey and creating a kind of engagement where you know the query of the employees the issues of the employee the grievances the expectations the different types of you know uh, employee engagement practices would be nurtured in this particular survey then only you can understand what exactly is happening at your workplace what the employees are thinking what are they looking for what are the things on which they you must act upon how the leadership team should construct or create a strategy to manage their employee to manage their talent how to retain them and you can do it by creating a different types of groups or you know conducting different types of set of questionnaires which is actually focusing on specific areas there are sometime you can include you know some different types of lunch activity other activities as well apart from your conducting survey but it's extremely important that the real issues of the organization the real uh, 
problem of the organization which is actually felt by the workforce must be addressed that first must be identified and then must be addressed by the leadership team with the help of the hr and the managers the more your team ask for the opinion more they would be empowered more they would be engaged they will understand yes they have a voice they have a platform to talk about their problems talk about their issues and someone is or the organization is listening to it they are not only listening they are also acting on it and that's how the next point will come show them you listen so only collecting the feedback identifying the issues identifying the problems or grievances will not help you to have a proper employee engagement practice in the organization because whenever you have identified that you must work on it you must do something to resolve it yes always it may not be possible for the organization to resolve some issues or maybe on a immediate basis you cannot really resolve it but at least the effort must be visible you must go back to your employees with the solutions or with a proper planning or at least with a proper answer based on their queries or the issues has been identified during the survey or during a one to one meeting or different types of lunch meeting so that must be there whenever they will understand that you are actually listening to them not only listening to them you are actually trying to help them to resolve it that will definitely increase engagement and also sometime you know internal notice boards or emailers or different types of you know announcement will help to do that so say for example if someone is saying that the uh, uh, that the, the workforce is actually you know working on a very tight deadline they are always extending their working hours and uh, really you know it's affecting their work life balance that point of time you must create a kind of strategy or a policy to address that maybe you can educate your managers maybe you can ask them not to extend the working hours on a day to day basis even if someone is extending there may be some extra facility or at least if not monetary facility something like a pick up and drop facility or maybe some additional vouchers something can be there and not only that you must announce it properly say for example if there is a problem with a sitting arrangement in an organization and people are not really happy with the kind of sitting arrangements provided to them you must give an announcement that you know you guys are working on it and this is exactly the plan and this kind of ergonomic chairs would be bought by the organization and it would be there you know within a very few or short period of time and that must be announced to everyone so people will understand that yes the issues has been identified it is being looked upon and then the organization is trying to resolve so therefore they will feel extremely connected and well you know they are their their importance of the in the organization and therefore the overall retention of the workforce will definitely improve the next one is obviously it's not only you know identifying the issues or identifying the problems and working on it sometimes it's a kind of it's a cultural alignment you must have a kind of well good practices to engage them people not only always complain people not only always blame about their problems about their issues about their employment they also always try to explore their possibilities explore their career explore you know different new technologies different new ideas and also want to improve as a professional as an individual and you must nurture that need of the employees therefore sharing good practices and ideas between the team is a very good practice it's actually the start point of all your training and development initiative as well so say for example the employees must have the opportunity to share and display their best work sometime you know people are doing great but there is no way to display that people are not even aware of the good work of an employee of someone's contribution it's very much restricted within the team within the project within very few specific key people of the organization whenever you are creating a platform where people uh, can be heard and they are delivery or they are good work is also displayed maybe in form of a notice board emailer newsletter whatever it is then it will help them to boost up their model also the peer to peer learning whether in meeting or through a talent development platform is also a great way to create engagement so sharing knowledge is extremely important 
it may be possible that one person is good in one technology or in one function and another team is actually looking for that particular technology to learn and deliver a project or a kind of you know service to the client therefore it's extremely important to connect those individuals maybe through a training sessions to a trial and development platform through open forum discussions whatever it is the link between the teams will strengthen the employee and they will feel more connected with the organization and they will not only act like a team as an individual but more as an organization and that is the culture must be incorporated in any organization the next one is definitely having an employee voice because only conducting an engagement survey will not serve your purpose one will not be helpful to understand how the company is doing you also need to facilitate different channels where each employee can raise their issues and give their feedback and they can discuss about different you know ideas different suggestions also can be given therefore you know having different types of forums like a one to one discussion where hr or the managers can talk about it a skip level meeting where you know, without the presence of a manager different issues of the project or ideas can be discussed it can be open house it can be a kind of informal discussion over the lunch so people can feel that yes it's there is a open ear and people are being listened and they have a voice which is being considered by the organization and people are there platforms are there where you know they can actually raise their voice and talk about their suggestions ideas and different grievances as well up to a certain extent and believe me guys whenever you are creating a kind of platform like this uh, you can take a guarantee that only the problems or the grievances will not be discussed on those platforms your employees will act as a primary source of information or primary idea generator for your business improvement process improvement efficiency improvement and therefore all those ideas can be generated through these platforms all those initiatives can be started by using this platform and overall the organization efficiency performance would be improved now one thing before going into the next two points we must understand training and development and employee engagement or employee relations are very well connected sometimes what happens as a hr department or as an organization as a manager as well you do you distinguish or do you differentiate these two activities that i will do learning and development based on my performance management client feedback whatever it is and engagement is a different thing but training and development is actually one of the most important and most easily implementable engagement activity in an organization if you can understand how employees want to learn whether they prefer to work in a group or they want to learn individually then it would be very easy for you to impart the training in a lot of cases it has been observed that though all the necessary initiatives has been taken to impart a training but still the learning outcomes are not there maybe you have missed at the basic maybe you have missed the point that few individuals prefer to learn individually maybe through an online learning or through certain you know one class certain one to one discussion but on the other hand few employees they really do not want to learn individually they always love to learn in a group by different group activities by different you know team discussions therefore identification of that particular differentiation is extremely important and also collaborative learning implementation through talent development platform is one of the most important or most useful engagement activity in an organization now whenever you are implementing a group learning strategy you must understand most of the cases the group learning exercise or initiatives have been conducted by the managers because a lot of cases managers or the supervisors are act as a mentor as a coach and whenever they are doing that you must come out of the hat of your manager you must behave and act like a facilitator you must not you know only instructing but also mentoring coaching and hand holding the team challenge employees to step out of their comfort zone and make them a much you know con performing employee so therefore you know you must create a kind of engagement practice in an organization through learning and development where group learning initiatives always would be there maybe you know your technical 
training requirements are there you will always impart the technical training requirement because project requirement is there client expectation is there delivery pressure is there but on the other hand so you must have certain in training activity which can be done only through groups it can be a kind of team building exercise it can be a kind of motivational sessions it can be something kind of a simulations games it can be something kind of a group activity but yes all those things is not only useful to increase or boost the model of the employee but also a start point to act like a team whenever the team will act whenever the or individual also act like a team you know cross functional team or project specific team every dimension or every dynamics must be implemented there and whenever you do that definitely will start working not as an individual not as a project team not as a project module not as a function but as an organization because everyone in the organization is well connected they are part of different types of groups and your group dynamics mechanism is actually very well implemented and the engagement is extremely you know well well implemented through this entire exercise therefore let the whole team to be involved so in conclusion where you know we must say that learning and development and your employee voice or your engagement surveys or different types of you know sessions with the employee will actually very much helpful to improve the engagement with the organization and it's extremely useful for the increasing overall efficiency and performance of an organization and an individual as well keep in mind that effective employee engagement strategies required whenever you are thinking globally do not think remotely do not think at a unique specific level your business is a community for you and thrive best whenever you know everyone feels that it is there for them and you are feeling included in that so it is not like every individuals working individually alone without the help or hand holding of others they must think that they are a part of it they are a part of the organization they are a part of a team and whenever they are feeling that then it will create a best place to work something that money cannot buy once again we will reiterate that point that engagement is a initiative which money cannot buy which cannot be done only by implementation of few activities it can be done by a different types of continuous effort through cultural alignment listening to them training and development different initiatives so actually it's an amalgamation of different type of hr and organizational function which enables the employees to be connected with the organization that's all from today's lesson thank you for listening we will come back with another lesson of this specific module employee engagement best practices thank you